Students, the goal of this video is to learn in Fusion 360 how to design and 3D print your own cookie cutter. So here we have here a really basic example. This is the one we'll be making today. And this is the Bridgerton Cross, the school logo. But I've got another example here, a bit more complicated, of an angel. Uh, the two main goals that we'll be learning today in order to help you uh, design your own cookie cutter is the canvas feature. So if I just hide this body, that's bringing in your own sketch that you might design on pencil and paper first. So then you can use that to trace or, or, or um, reference to when you're building your own design. So that's one goal today that we'll be learning. And the other goal that we'll be learning today is to how to use the sketch point tool. So if I look under the sketch menu, you can see the point tool there. So if I just open up a new design, I'll explain what the point tool is. So we're used to doing sketches and then using them to do extrusions and, and cuts and to make new bodies. A point, it will never come through in one of those extrusions. It is just what it is, a point, it's just a reference point. Um, and you can use that to help create your design. So I've just put some points there. If I get the line tool, I can then just join, just like dot to dot uh, drawings when we're little, we can then just join up all those dots. If I just undo that. And you can imagine that's how I would have created the sketch to go around here using the line tool. If we want to do something like the angel example, rather than using the line tool, we're going to use the spline tool, which is a curved line that just goes through a series of points and always remains tangent. So it, uh, it never has any sharp edges. So as I start creating that, you will see um, it will always stay tangent to itself. There we go. And of course I can edit these as I like. And the great thing about points, you can even add dimensions to them. Uh, I'm not trying to do an angle. There we go. So you could do a dimension like that. Uh, and the other thing is these handle lines. So I'll click there and you can change the angle of the tangent line as well. Okay, so that's points. So let's start a new design. And what we're going to do is go through how to create this cookie cutter here at the Bridgerton Cross. So the first thing we need to do is to bring in that canvas, that drawing idea, idea that design on paper that you always do first. So that's a uh, go to insert up here. This will be the first thing you do. And then the attach canvas feature. First thing it's going to ask is what face, what plane do we want that on? That's the plane I want to work on. So I'm just going to select there. And then it's just a matter of selecting the image. So just browsing to the image. And it's going to be the last one I use. Yes, that's the one we want. Hit open. And it's come in like that. So if I just zoom in there, you can see the design that I wanted. But what we don't know is how big that is on the, on the work plane. So we need to calibrate it. We need to move that into the measurements that we want. So now we've got the canvas feature um, in the feature tree. There's our canvas. You can see I can turn it off. I'm going to right click on it and there's our calibrate. What do we want to calibrate it to? Well, what I do know from measuring some cookie cutters in my kitchen that the measurement from about here to here is about 100 millimeters. At the moment, it's only 11. So it's just a matter of typing in 100. And if I just zoom out, the whole design will move in proportion to that size. So I can now be quite confident that that is exactly what I want. Okay, so now that I have my sketch, it's time to start, uh, now that I have my canvas, it's time to start my sketch. And of course, I'm going to do it on the same plane. So I'm gonna be working there. And now it's time to use the point tool like we talked about earlier. So I'm just going to grab every point around this design, every corner. 
And you can see when I do these short ones, it will give me a little blue line. It's just saying, do you want that line to be parallel? On those short ones, I'm just going to say yes. And remember, you can move them afterwards. You can put dimensions. You can move them with your mouse. And that should be the last one. Great. Okay, so now it's just a matter of joining the dots. You could even probably hide your canvas now. I'll just leave it there for now. And as I go through, I could add dimensions to it afterwards, but I'm confident that this is the right size because I calibrated I calibrated that canvas before I started. Uh, it's gone orange on the inside. That's great. That means it's a closed sketch. So if I was to extrude this, um, there'd be no missing features. But if I was to extrude this now, it would just be one big blob. Well, we don't want that. We want more of uh, an extrusion on the outside and, and left blank in the middle. So go back to your sketch tool. And I want you to learn the offset feature. So uh, offset being if I was to select this, it will say, uh, we'll draw you in the same sketch, but offset a certain measurement. And currently it's saying, we're gonna offset one millimeter onto the inside. Uh, now to do to 3D print a cookie cutter, just from experience, I know that you probably need it to be about three millimeters thick, the wall section. And this red line is currently on the inside. I wanna go on the outside. So I'm gonna put negative three, and you can see it's gone to the outside. So hit okay on that. Uh, and I'm going to hide my canvas now because I don't need it. And you can see I've got the basic shape to the cookie cutter. So hit stop sketch. Uh, now it's time to extrude. We're not going to select the inside. We're going to select that gap in the middle. And again, from experience, I know that about 25 millimeters um, is about the perfect distance. You could probably get away with 20, but uh, don't do any less than that. And there is our cookie cutter shape there. So if I was to export that for 3D printing, it's the make 3D print. Uh, I'm going to tick that off. And then I can select that and save that file from there. I won't do that now. So the features we learned today to design our cookie cutter, it was the canvas feature, which is the, under insert attach canvas. Uh, and it was the point tool, uh, which is there to help us connect all those corners that we could then trace around just like we did years ago on the dot to dot painting. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video and I look forward to seeing your designs of your cookie cutter.